what's going on guys welcome back to terabyte reacts we are here once again with another reaction to god of high school today we're gonna be doing episode nine god of high school so we learned a lot in the last episode man um i think the last um three episodes or so have been really like setting the tone of what's about to happen and you have the organization or this cult organization called Knox. and as i said in my last review it seems like there is a more there is a bigger picture right there is a bigger picture as my green screen is making a mess in the corner right there you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna try to fix that really quick um yeah actually need to um bring that over yeah so it's crazy sometimes when it comes on um to what this anime is trying to represent it's not doing a very good job of telling the story i'm gonna give you guys that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna give you guys that it's not doing a very good job of really fleshing out certain things everything is very much in a vague position right now not that i'm against you get what i'm saying not that i'm against any storytelling in that sort of fashion like i'm not against it but it's gotta you gotta do it better than that if you're gonna leave things up to mystery you gotta do it better than how they're doing it in this there's a lot of places where it kind of seems like you know what i'm saying there there was more in between the um on the storyboard and they just decide oh we're just gonna cut that out we don't need it you know what i'm saying that's that's how some of the cuts feel you know what i'm saying it's kind of like some things don't really lead into some things like there's not really a story to follow it just kind of seems like um certain things have just been cut that's just how it feels to me you know what i'm saying so it may feel different to you because i'm pretty sure that a lot of people enjoy this for what it is you know what i mean and i have nothing against those people you know it's just that you guys know how i do things over here when it comes on to to anime and tv shows it's more of like i have to analyze it i have to see what it is enjoy it for what it is and so that i can praise it properly because i actually do a review and it's not just about views you know what i'm saying like i actually want to give an opinion on what i'm watching um so it's when it comes on to, to God of High School, they're doing a very good job of introducing new characters. That stuff they do very well. You get what I'm saying? Other than the, other than the, the two characters that was introduced um, previously, which is Park, uh, another Park, uh, I think it's um, Ilpio, Ilpio I, I think his name is. Um, and you have um, the other dude the construction worker dude like i had a serious problem with their backstories because not so much um park Ilpio. like his backstory was very much it was okay it's just that the whole mother leaving him with the uncle thing just didn't sit right to me like it didn't really make sense <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's very hard i i think a lot of these backstories that the 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 author is coming up with it just is so far-fetched it's not very easy to relate to you get what i'm saying like i could give you guys a perfect example of what you can relate to all right i love to use naruto as a example right so when it comes down to naruto right how did they set up his background uh, how we knew how he was treated even before you know what i'm saying because it, it didn't start off at that we learned that through time right of how he was treated when he was younger the reason why he was treated like that when he was younger right it's easy to relate to that because what it includes isolation there is a lot of kids no you don't have to have a monster inside of you right you don't have to have a monster inside of you to be isolated to be treated like a, a scab <laughs> to, to, it it's easy to relate to that you get what i'm saying it's very easy for a, a, a child to watch naruto and relate to that person and how they handle that you get what i'm saying as through watching naruto and how he handled it and how he overcame those things and how he befriended certain people and 
and, and people started believing in him and all of this other stuff it's very easy to become inspirational through a story like that when it comes on to this story however it becomes very hard you get what i'm saying for you to find something to relate to because those two backstories that they've shown not jin because we don't know really anything about jin other than the fact that he grew up with his his grandfather in the mountain we don't know much about him right and he's one of the main characters now han's backstory very easy to relate to people lose loved ones all the time you get what i'm saying it's just that these extra characters that they've introduced lately you know mainly the construction worker and park ipio is just like their their backstory is not very easy to to relate to some parts of park as i said it was very it was decent but that whole mother part just threw me off because i'm like mothers don't do that <laughs> like if it does happen it's got to be some you got to explain that you know what i'm saying but to each his own to each his own don't want to harp on it too much but let's get into the reaction and i will see you guys at the end for the review don't forget to like the video before you go we're gonna jump in let's go What is that duty? This man is called a sword down out of heaven on top of him. That's crazy. Isn't that Nox? Yes. It's gotta be Nox. I don't want that wears freaking cult cloaks. Gross. Man really showed up in briefs. <laughs> They're the only ones waking wearing <laughs> cloaks like that in the show, so I automatically assume that it's Knox. And they already know about her style also, so I'm guessing because of the dude that tried to marry Mira.
Wait a minute. Isn't that... That's her sword, right? It's definitely Nox, man. Is it a... Is it a... What happened? What the hell? What? So no what? That will make no sense. <laughs> How did you become the owner? <laughs> trying to kill him and how the hell who is that is this is Knox Knox is trying to take is I'm so confused bro, <laughs> as to what's going on this is just random people getting taken care of outside of the so they're pretending to be the Jeju team Come on, Mira. Come on. Oh, my God. 
Is that his, her grand? Is that her dad or? Okay, fire music. What is this? It's not yours anymore, bitch. Let's go. Woo! Lil Boo? From Dynasty Warriors? What? <laughs> Hit it all over the place. Look what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I believe Lu Bu is a like a legendary Chinese warrior, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, chill, Jin, chill. Yo. He is mad. Blue Dragon, let's go! Both y'all get the same work, let's go! More? Twin? Twin blue dragons, let's go. Yo, these guys from the six. <laughs> These guys from the six is like, yo, bruh, let me tell y'all something, man. I, that's the end of the episode, right? Let me say this before I go do the review, man. Bro, the six is looking at this like, yo, Tijin raised another tiger, my guy. That's probably the best episode so far. I'm not going to lie. That's probably the best episode of the series so far. So far for me, that was the best episode. It was full of, um, you know what I'm saying, a lot more information, like, leading into Knox. And the thing about it is that the aspects of the show that I that I enjoy, you know what I'm saying, like, the, the aspects of the show that, that I enjoy so much is not necessarily 
the, 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 the story, which I want them to build up a good lore behind this because you'll get more people to be investing in, invested in the series long term, not just for a season, because if it's, if it's just about this, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, things just, just happening. You know what I'm saying? And I know these characters are only going to get stronger, man. It's just great to see um, that MAPPA is actually, like, stepping up with the animation when it matters. And I, I think I talked about this a couple of episodes ago where I was saying that the animation for the fight where up in Q's apartment, it wasn't great. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't the greatest. It was It was a spectacle, but it wasn't great animation. There was too many cuts in that fight. But it was still enjoyable to watch. You get what I'm saying? So, um, of course, those scenes are going to get me hyped to see Jin mad because he jokes around so much. When he's mad and when he's serious, he really goes all out. And we still haven't seen, I don't think, the extent of where he can go. Because if he can go to where his grandfather is, which I think... His grandfather is on a whole new tier. If he, um, I don't think that Jin at this point could beat anybody in the in the six. I don't think he can. But if he keeps growing, I think he's be, he'll be able to get there. Let's get to the review. She. Yeah. So that was episode. Um, that was episode eight. No, episode nine. Sorry, that was episode nine of God of High School, bro. As I said, the end of the episode, that was probably the best episode. I believe that is the best episode of the season so far. Definitely got me hyped there more than usual just to see Jin go off. He's mad. He was tricked. Um, and I believe those guys are from Knox. You get what I'm saying? I, I really do believe that. So they have a guy that could that could take. I don't know if Jin killed him. I don't think so, because it, it um, we haven't really seen anybody die in the series yet. Is that most people just get knocked out? You know what I'm saying? And then they fix them with nano. So that's one of the other things too that I, that I'm saying that I'm waiting on the stakes in this anime. And stakes don't have to be in every anime, but you don't want your anime to be, you know what I'm saying, going down the lines of fairy tale like fairy tale was not made for you know what i'm saying the hardcore anime fans you get what i'm saying it was more made and don't get me wrong i watch all of fairy tale i enjoyed it but there was no stakes in it it's the same situation with dragon ball as what it is dragon ball super like i enjoy watching those shows but if you're gonna say top 10 I could never put these anime in top 10 of all time. Why? That's just my per my preference. You get what I'm saying? When it comes on to anime, we're not talking about animation. We're talking about story, right? We're talking about story, not even impact, because we all know that Dragon Ball is worldwide known anime. Like, you can reference Dragon Ball in anything. It's like pop culture at this point. So, it's not even about that. It's just story is my number one thing when it comes on to anything that i consume so if it's just about fighting and and animation if it's just about that because not even not even demon slayer is going to be in my top 10 at the end of at the end of the day demon slayer is not going to make it in my top 10 unless this story gets better demon slayer is a pretty clear-cut story like you can practically even now i have not read the manga but i can tell you somewhere along the lines how this anime is going to end like there's no mystery behind it there are going to be crazy moments that happen throughout it i know that because it's already doing that right but the story is it's not deep enough for me to put it in my top 10 it's not in my top 10 at this point it's a great anime to watch and i think god of high school is going to fall in that category too as in but i believe that's what I think, but what I believe is going to happen, I think this story has a has some deeper meanings to it, as in there's a deeper story to it, but I, I think that the thing that a lot of the people who re read the webtoon is complaining about, right, 
I think it is very true because a lot of the stuff, as I said in my intro for this video, there's a lot of things that I think that they could expound upon a little bit more to, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they, I think maybe they're extending the fight scenes a little bit longer to appease because they, they probably want it to get to the popularity of great fighting scenes, great animations. And they're like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll do what, um, like. Attack on Titan season two did where they where where they like they did a lot more to add to the lore of the story during you, you know what I'm saying like um in season two and they just did action 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 packed season one and then in season two they just went into more of the lore of the story and stuff like maybe that's how this is going to be I don't know season two is not out yet so I don't know what they're going to do um so maybe they just want we want to build an audience for season one so we're gonna like leave a lot of vague things and then we'll probably do some flashbacks in season two to explain certain things maybe that's the route they're going i don't know but right now what i'm trying to say is that i'm enjoying the anime for what it is right now um that was really good man i really thought that but but the thing about it is this nox knows they know what happened to his grandfather so they could easily simulate that um you know from this guy pretending to be his grandfather you know what i'm saying and they killed the the, the juju team or whatever they call them the jeju team right and took their place in a tournament and i love that they are you know what i'm saying i'm i'm wondering what hans share karaoke ch karaoke or chari chari whatever it is man you know what i'm saying char ricky or whatever they call it um i'm wondering what his is going to be um because they said from what we learned from park when park was explaining it to han he's like it's, they draw from the power of of gods legendary beast let you know what i'm saying um legendary warriors um and all these all these other stuff so they pulled out lubu now um, as I said during during the reaction, I was looking at it and I, and I was like, I remember this character because I used to play as this character back in. I'm pretty sure it was Dynasty Warriors. It's been so long since they've done a new Dynasty Warriors game. I mean, there's like eight of them out anyways. I don't even know how many of them because I stopped playing. I don't think I've played all of them, but I've definitely played Dynasty Warriors. I'm pretty sure it's Dynasty Warriors is the name of the game. Um, I'm not gonna look it up, but Lu Bu was one of those dudes, you know what I'm saying? Legendary Chinese warrior, um, you know what I'm saying? I used to see him in the intro and all of this other stuff, right? Um, so that name really just kind of shocked me into like, oh, Lu Bu, you know what I'm saying? I don't remember that last name, but I do remember Lu Bu. I don't know if it's the same warrior or maybe it's a different one. I don't know. But I definitely, that's what it brought me back to. Um, so that was pretty cool um, for them to give her that legendary warrior. And it was done very well of how she attained the power also. You know, it's anime. You know what I'm saying? When you're down and out, you know what I'm saying? You just acquired legendary power. It's very typical. It's not anything, you know, for you to be like, oh my God, I can't believe that. No, it's not that kind of... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's anime. If you watch enough anime and it's not your first time watching anime, that should not surprise you of how she came upon this power. You know what I'm saying? Because they tell you that the Chariki, you can, you can, um, you can basically attain it. Uh, some people can go their whole life and never uh, trying to attain it and never do. And then some people could just attain it in a flash. You know what I'm saying? So it's, there's no requirement. You know what I'm saying? To attain in this, it's it's like it's either these this power meshes with you or met you know you know what I'm saying? It's either that or they don't. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes, man. But this episode was lit. We we got to see um a second original by by Jin. You know what I'm saying? The twin blue dragons. He had the blue dragon. I think we've seen the blue dragon um against han and then he pulled out 
the, the, the twin blue dragons against this guy because he was mad he was pissed and they needed he needed that win too so they're gonna move on um i'm guessing they're gonna go up against park and his team next because i think there was only they had to win one more match and then they got to the finals right i think i think the finals is gonna be against park and them um so we'll see how that goes but anyways guys this was a really good episode man i enjoyed it very much i'll see you guys tomorrow for another one and of course leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace